The Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium expects to be a mecca for sports in 2023 and beyond. Carifta Track and Field and the World Relays, just a few of the events set to take place. The last scope of work would have done would have probably cost us some 30 plus million dollars, but we wouldn't get in full depth of that type of work right now. Just to have it prepared for April, that will cost us maybe close to $3 million that ensure that the, uh, the equipments are working and, and the safety of the humans or, or, or persons, whoever uses the facility, is ensured that they are safe. And, and shortly after that, because, you know, we want the bid to host the 2024 World Relays, then we will move full steam straight ahead after the um, Grifter Games and try to shut the, the stadium down for a bit and try to get the major work done. A number of other events also set to hit our shores this year. We also will have the Olympic qualifier for Rugby 7, which will be during August 19th to 20th, that the Bahamas has an opportunity to qualify for the, the Olympic. Uh, we have the Inter-Island Relays March 15th to 18th scheduled for Grand Bahama, which is the Black Colleges. And then, of course, we all know during the Independence Week, we will be celebrating um, the Golden Jubilee Bahama Games, um, which will be July 7th through the 15th. And the economic impact of sports tourism will be tremendous. The Inter-Island Relays, I understand, has already booked 600 rooms. Uh, so if you take 600 rooms and you uh, multiply that by five nights, depends on what's the cost of the room, then that tells you how much money is being spent. Then you look at also the uh, transportation, we're not speaking meals from the restaurants that will be impacted. That's just one event. Carifta, we have already have over 30 uh, countries intend to be on the island. Uh, even though Carifta is a junior event, that means facilities of hotels will be utilized. Uh, we have, I think they already secure uh, Marriott and the Breezes Hotel. We look at the Bahama Games where we need 1,500 rooms. And that's the seven days of 1,500 room nights for Bahamians alone, domestically. And we know that the prominence will be sinking with the amount of Bahamians that will be on the island. In the so the big question is, will everything be in place to make this happen? We're putting all the resources in place now. You know, we have programs and now where we are outreaching to young people who want to be volunteers, ensure that they get the necessary training and to be able to assist us with, man, with the manpower necessary to ensure that these events are not just held, but held in the highest form of class that you can see so that when persons come to our shores they can appreciate, feel welcome and understand that Bahamas is a place and a destination for sports tourism.